This large pulley has an outer radius of 0.25 meters. A string wrapping around the part with 0.2 meter radius is attached to a 0.3 kilogram hanging box. The string does not slip on the pulley, and the friction at the pulley's axle is negligible. After released from rest, the box takes 1.1 seconds to strike the floor 1.5 meters below. Find the acceleration of the box during this time and the rotational inertia of the pulley. First, we can use kinematics to find the acceleration of the box. We do not have to look at the rotation because we have enough information about the translational motion of the box. The box does constant acceleration motion and we know three things. It starts from rest, so the initial velocity is zero. The displacement is 1.5 meters, and the time is 1.1 seconds, and we want to find the acceleration. Which equation relates all these conveniently? It's the delta x equals to vot plus 1 half at squared. The vo is zero. So the delta x 1.5 equals to 1 half a times t squared. So we'll find the acceleration to be 2.48 meters per second squared. To find the rotational inertia, we'll have to write force equation for the object that does translational motion and write the torque equation for the object that does rotational motion. The box does translational motion and its acceleration goes uh, downward. There are two forces acting on the box. There's the mg, which is uh, 3 newtons, and the box is touching the string, which gives uh, tension. If we write net force equals to ma for the box, we would have net force, since the acceleration goes down, the downward force is bigger, so the net force is the bigger side minus the smaller side. 3 minus t equals to ma. The mass is 0.3, and the acceleration we just found is uh, 2.48. The pulley does rotational motion, so we have to write the net torque equals to I alpha for the pulley. Which forces exert torque on the pulley? The mg of the pulley acts at the center of mass, which in this case is also the rotational axis, so mg does not produce any torque. The pulley is touching the axle, but whatever force from the axle also goes through the axle, therefore produces no torque. Of course, the pulley is also touching the string, and the tension in the string does produce a torque. If I draw the contact force tension on the pulley, I have to draw it from the contact point right over here. Now I'm just going to draw the tension on the pulley in this diagram. That's the tension acting right there, 0.2 meters from the axle. So the torque produced by tension would be the force times the lever arm. The force is the tension. The lever arm is the distance between the line of force and the axis. When you wrap a string around the circle and then pull it out, this is always the tangent to the circle. The tangent line is always perpendicular to the radius. So the perpendicular distance, the lever arm, is 0.2 meters. And this force times the lever arm is the torque, which equals to I alpha. We are looking for I. What is alpha? The pulley rotates about a fixed axis, and uh, the string does not slip. So the angular motion and the translational motion, they are related. The tangential acceleration is uh, r times the angular acceleration. And this tangential acceleration is the acceleration of the string, which is uh, the acceleration of the box. So. Alpha can be written as the tangential acceleration divided by r, and uh, the tangential acceleration in this case is the 2.48, and the r, the radius, is a 0.2.
So alpha is two point four eight divided by point two. So from this force equation, we can find that the tension equals to two point two five six newtons, and then we can plug the tension in here. We'll get the rotational inertia is 0 0.0364 kilograms meters squared.